A very good morning, a pleasant morning. It's nice to see the well-edu uh, uh, persons here and the charismatic uh, speakers here. Thank you, ma'am, for the wonderful opportunity. Uh, on the outside, I'm Dr. Yee, I'm Anita Mavid. I'm, I'm from Bishabiba College, uh, the pride most college in Trichrapalli. It's a Christian minority new, uh, uh, college. Um, and I belong to the Department of Biotechnology, and basically I'm from the field of life science. So I wish to talk on uh, uh, the topic highlighting the necessity of good practice in research. It's just a very uh, basic topic which just uh, gives you a brief account of what is research and what we have to do. Like what are the basic uh, strategies we have to plan okay, while doing the research. So uh, basically my uh, uh, talk focuses on all these three uh, schemes. Uh, like initially the research components, research proposals, as well as the outcomes of research. So these are the three important areas where I uh, wish to uh, like deliver my speech. So initially coming to the uh, famous quote of uh, 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 Stephen William Hawking, who's always the uh, great idealistic for most of us. So he says he defines research as a joy of discovering something that no one knew before. So if we could do something which is very novel, it is actually uh, useful to the society, isn't it? So uh, quoting his uh, important terms, so now, now like, it is far, like, uh, only in the uh, far, like, uh, olden days, we, we used to restrict our research with ourselves. But now it is not going to work if we res restrict ourselves with, within the lab. So everything has to be uh, inter interdisciplinary work. In accordance to me, this is the fr first good practice we have to follow. So all our research, we have to uh, sling up our uh, sleeves and we have to get together uh, to work together. So that is the important thing, so the interdisciplinary research. So basically, research has four important steps. So start out, you have to have the scientific spirit, you have to have this passion. So it's, research is the, nothing but like growing your own baby, so re rearing your own children at home. So you should have the spirit or the passion. The first important thing is you have to identify a problem and that problem should be a thirst. You should have a thirst in identifying the problem and uh, then like you have to fetch your area of expertise. So I used to tell my students, so what is your area of interest? So they used to tell me I like immunology. They just tell the subject name. So that's not important. As teacher, we, we teach them the subject, but we have to mold them as a researcher. So in that case, they have to endorse their uh, specific area of research and expertise. And uh, funding is always a problem, so we have to tap projects and research fundings. And uh, you have to taste the success of research. So whatever you do, you have to publish and you have to taste it. That's very important. So tasting su su success in sense by patent, publishing, and you have to com commercialize your research. That's very important. So everybody knows uh, about the stages of scientific method. Here, I just want to highlight one important aspect, the questions identified. Question is very important in research. So what is the foundation of research? It's basically a question. So everything begins with a question. So you have to have the curiosity. As Sir uh, told in the beginning lecture, you should fill up the gaps. Filling the gaps is very important in research. So you have to be controversial, that's very important. And replication of research is not suggested, as Sir rightly pointed about the plagiarism and everything. You, you should not replicate your research, but in sense, you have to set your research in accordance to the current scenario, that's very important. Uh, and this is a research process, the usual research process that we all teach in our uh, college and uh, university. But one thing I just want to tell uh, in this particular uh, forum, uh, I have just uh, uh, like given you for two important things. So one is the F, another one the double F. So wherever, like even if we start the research, if, if we think that we are back lagging in some uh, point, we can forward or we can reverse back. So that's the beauty of research that no uh, like other uh, area will give. So if we do something, if it, if, if it gets wrong, we immediately panic ourselves. But in research, at any point of time, you can see here, at any point of time, you can you can get back to your uh, subjects and you can clarify your mistakes, it's very important. And uh, one thing, like the fund is a big challenge for us. But now as into a particular, uh, getting into a particular institution, we can tap funds. So that is the biggest asset of promoting research. You can get minor projects like, and you can use it for the paper publication. You can attend conferences and workshops like uh, the one we are doing now. You can organize conference, 
So, so much of things are there. And you, now also the UGC is giving certain appreciation amount for doing PhD. So, I think so. this is a beautiful strategy to, to do a good uh, thing. And these are the list of major funding agencies which basically gives you um, uh, the uh, research funding where I just want to, like, apart from science, there are also other agencies, uh, but where I just want to tell about DST. Department of Science and Technology is really doing a beautiful thing, not only for the uh, associate professors and professors like us, but also for the uh, students. So these, this is a Boy Scout Fellowship, which is only for the boys, young scientist boys, who do really good in NCC and NSS. So that's one beautiful thing. And the Swarna Jayanti Fellowship. And for us, you can also go for the CERC Fast Track Fellowship and Inspire Fellowship for the uh, MSc students who have completed their uh, degree with a go uh, gold medalist one. So, so these are the important things. And of course, women scientists, so we all, as women, we have break in our career. We have, we have a great burden in the family and we have so much of challenging things. So if, if at all we have a break, we can just apply for the O's, which is nothing but the, it is a three schemed uh, like, uh, fellowship where we can improve our career again. So we not sit at home, ideally. And this is one which I got personally and I just want to share it with you. This is the Indian National Science of Academy which is giving you uh, like scholarship and fellowship to do your research during your summer. So this is called as the INSA Summer Fellowship and this is for the teaching fraternity, fraternity like us. And um, there are also, apart from this, there are individual fellowship like the Maulana Azad which is for the man minority uh, community people. And there is Jawaharlal Nehru. And there are several other uh, uh, fellowships. Uh, and coming to my second component, which is very important, research proposals. Even though we are all uh, teachers, we are all uh, lecturers, we go wrong and like, we, at some point of time, we get a uh, like jet lag or something, right, while doing our research proposal. See, we have to convince others uh, like my proposal is the best and I'm going to serve so much to the society. So convenience is, convincing some, someone is very important in research proposal. So these are the, these are the like, are we, you, most of you might, might be knowing about this, I need not detail it, but these are the general uh, prerequisites of a proposals where uh, you have to be very, very clear about the last, the, the, uh, the one which is before the last one, narrative. Uh, like all people will not like the the what is it the council members or the panel members will not be interested in seeing our entire proposal at the end of the time what is the narrative you are going to take what is the outset you are going to give that's very important and here i've just given you the uh, details of the research proposals where you can see the last one significance or, or the import, impact of this proposal is very important that is the only thing you have to highlight so this is about the details of the research proposals. And uh, like uh, I used to tell me to my students also, so whatever you do, you have to be very clarative of what you do. And the di usage of diagrams is very important. See, we used to just write pages since we are all doing lecturing, we are all involved in writing and uh, uh, like we don't listen to others, we, we generate our own lecture, lectures, right? So we used to write pages. But the person who's in the panel may not be interested in that. He, not, he may not be so patient enough. So whatever you do, just give a graphical representative, which is very important. I usually do it in my proposals. So whatever, whatever ab abstract you give, use diagrams and tables to clarify them. That's very important. So once the person sees the diagram, ah, this is the important thing she wants to or he wants to render. He will understand things and immediately he'll grant you, okay, if it is really interesting. So that's very important. And ICMR is one important agencies which gives you ad hoc research schemes. For this, not only the government uh, sector people, but even the non-government, uh, even we are the minor institution in, uh, in uh, Kichrapalli. I work on the self-financed uh, community only, but I am able to get or tap projects from ad, ad hoc research schemes. So these people are even recognizing us Okay, like even recognizing non-government organizations and they are giving surplus amount of fund. Only thing you have to be very strong in the academics. You should have some papers initially and uh, like uh, they, they are giving beautiful funds in that, uh, starting from 10 lakhs. So it's, it, that's really good. And uh, the, what do the panel members actually look for? See, they, give it, they are giving you money, isn't it? Is your project value to the money? That's, that's the only thing they see. Okay, so and... 
an interesting idea can really catch. Okay, you can also get, you tap several amount. And the government is having so much of m amount. The only thing they need, uh, like a dedicated person to do a research and an uh, interesting topic which actually suits to the environment. That's very important. Okay, suppose you got your uh, project, okay? So you got your funding and everything, okay? So if you don't get it, please don't get dejected. That's the only thing everybody do. And it is a tendency of a human. That, that's no doubt about that. But then try to go for a re- uh, submission so whatever comment they will give you the comment see you are lacking this particular thing in your proposal so i'm rejecting that the next thing you next proposal you can reinvent it you can re revise that proposal and you can get what if what so if you if it gets rejected we should always go back okay and we have to do that so that is the spirit of uh, research and the third uh, phase which i want to tell is the outcomes of research uh, it's just like your baby giving birth to your baby as, as I told you, like most of the ladies while doing their PhD, even I did my PhD when I was pregnant only. So like I was so, in, I was so curious when, when my viva, I thought my viva is my delivery date. See, uh, like I used to tell to my students also. So you have to take research in, in such a, like, uh, like it's, it's a passion, you know, like you, you are going to deliver something. Uh, which is interesting to the society. You have ha worked so hard on that for several years, isn't it? So in that case, you have to uh, publish, uh, like publish it to the society. The society should know that. See, what is a like a fun in uh, cooking a very nutritious food and not uh, like uh, serving it? It's just like that. So publish is publishing is very important, and scientific publishing involves. This is a series. You need the author. You need a journal editor and you need your reviewers. So this is an uh, important thing. And you can even publish your thesis, you can even publish your uh, uh, like discussion or review, whatever, book chapters also. And where to publish, that's very important. See, not all journals are created equal. Like uh, we used to, with the tendency of a researcher, we have to do a research, we have to publish it in the journal, that's it. But what type of research journals are you choosing as so beautifully uh, pinpointed good journals look for plagiarism good journal have an impact factor good journal have an index okay so you have to look that for that you have a uh, like website called as sci journal citation which is nothing but your woes we call it as web of science which is a clariot uh, um, clariot is a um, proprietor for that so they have a list of journals you, you we can all uh, like register in that and we can search our journal. Suppose you are going to publish it in uh, Journal of Proctiomics. In this search tool, you can just type your journal and see whether it is listed in the WOS. So if it is listed in the uh, WOS, you can go, it, go in for the publications. So this is what we are all failing to do and we have to do this. And see, this is the, uh, I've just given you the uh, screenshot. You can also see the impact factor, immediacy indexes, what indexes it has, other H index and everything. So this is very important. You call it as JCR, Journal Citation Reports. And what about the Indian publications? See, there's something called as UGC CARE Consortium. So as lecturers and professor, we have to register ourselves in UGC. You can, with the official email ID, it's just a one-click process. You can register yourself in UGC CARE. And you can, you, they'll, they'll give you a login ID and you can see the uh, list, uh, like a uh, list of journals, so group one, group two list of journals in which category your journal is actually there. So even uh, university accept uh, journals uh, which is indexed under UGC care. So this is one another important thing. And apart from JCR, the uh, Scopus is also very good. So in our college, we get uh, remuneration. So if the faculty publishes their finding in Scopus, we are given we are given five thousand rupees per paper. So like that, each and every college like they have to propagate that, which which would be a small enthusiasm, right? We 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 all can do something. Like we can all go ahead in research. Five thousand is a good amount, right, for us. So uh, like other uh, rankings. So you have something called as SJR and Scopus index. So these are all good ranking. Okay, so one important thing, yeah. So these are the softwares which tells you the manuscript matching tool. 
uh, you have end note Jane, okay, and Elsevier and Spin Springer are also having certain tools which tells you the plagiarism as Sir said. You also have official plagiarism checking uh, tools, but these are some important uh, tools with the, with uh, the journal itself give. But the only thing we have to pay them and we have to match whether our uh, uh, like journal um, uh, a man manuscript is in, uh, in accordance to their standards and everything. And they also do the grammatical e editing part and they'll give you. So the end note is really good. So out of this, end note is really good and uh, it, is, uh, it is understandable also and they're also reasonable in price. Yeah. So one thing, you, one alarming factor, we are having some predatory journals. So what is this predatory journal? So he's Sir Jeffrey Beale. And you can get into this website, wheelslist.net. So these people, you know, they don't have a peer review committee. So without a peer review committee, they just accept your journals and they cost. The charge is immensely great. They have these fake IDs of having, uh, like, we have so much and so impact factor. They'll just have a small asterisk on that. So we don't see that asterisk. Okay, we just go into that. So before publishing, we have to just check in this particular, this man, he has done a really good job, you know. Like, you have to get into this uh, uh, website and you have to check whether our journal is a predatory journal or not. Predatory journal in sense, without, uh, journals without, like, impact factor, they don't have a peer review itself. Not only impact factor, they don't have a setup of peer reviewing. And, but on top of that, they demand money. With one day or two day, it will get published. So, 24 hours, it will get pu published. So, these are certain journals which you do. And patenting is what we, we are all lacking, you know, like patent, whatever work you do, when you, if you think that it is really idealistic, novelistic and significant, you have to go for patenting. So it's, it's a very simple process. Nowadays it has been very uh, simple and like we had a patent, uh, like we have recently published it, uh, like uh, a group of members can join together and you can share the cost, even the college gives you. Our college even gives uh, money for to publish paper. They will patent. They will take care of the charges. Only thing you have to uh, like do your findings. So patenting is very important. And this is the website IPR Indian IPR. If you just put it in Indian IPR in the Google, you can just find this page. And it's a very very small method only. You can just fill the forms. You should just give an abstract and what is the novelty of your work. That's it. So if you if you uh, uh, apply for the patent, immediately it will get published. So that publishing itself will give you a great impact in your resume. So this is what we have, even though you don't have an Indian patent, you can go for international patent. This Australian government is really good in doing that. So they, uh, like equally, they equally just like your Indian patent, Australian patent is also equally good. And the charge is also the same only. Uh, they, it is also highly significant. So international patent, you can also go for Australian patent, which is really important. Socializing your research is very, very uh, important. We have Facebook accounts, we have Twitter accounts, we have so much of accounts, but we should have a Google account, okay? So in that, like, you can go for the Google Scholar and you can put your image and you can just see, like, day by day, like, how many people are, like, seeing your paper and how many people are citing your paper. Like, th that is a very good practice, actually. So creating your citations. And you can show it to your students and feel proud. Yeah, like, my teacher has published so much. So that would be an added advantage for us also. And this is another thing, ResearchGate. You'll all, uh, most of you will be familiarized with this. So ResearchGate is also an organization which actually cites your, it not only cites your work, but gives you a score. It's one, one step ahead of uh, Google Scholar. So with a good ResearchGate score, we can popularize ourselves, isn't it? So that is one important thing. And everybody should have an ORCID number. ORCID is nothing but a researcher number. So most of the uh, like uh, good uh, uh, journals are asking for an ORCID number. It's just like an ID card for a researcher. So you have to publish. It's, it's just a one-step process. You should have a Google account and you have to, uh, and the uh, number is generated for you. So ORCID is very important. And this is something called as the publons. Many of us are in uh, reviewers in certain uh, journals. So if you are a reviewer, automatically the, the journal asks, do you want to register yourself in the publons? So if you register yourself in the publons, it is directly connected to the JCR. So whatever journal you publish, the index will be published in publons. So that is equivalent to the JCR impact factor, you know? Like, so uh, many, the vicinity of your research is more when you uh, do it in the publons. Okay, 
so i wish each and every one of you to uh, like do great research by uh, like uh, like following all these simple strategies which many of us like lack it so we all uh, learn as a researcher yeah, yes so try to publish and our ultimate goal should be uh, to uh, publish our work in this, these great impact factors like nature and jacks you know like all the best and thank you for the opportunity thank you so much ma'am and uh, for giving me this opportunity